Graphing linear inequalities. We're going to consider this inequality. That is, it's in, like an equality or an equation, except instead of an equal sign, it has a not equal sign. This is a not equal sign because it says that y is not equal to 2x minus 3. It's greater than. We begin by treating it as if it were an equal sign because in a lot of ways, the rest of the problem is the same. Y-intercept is negative 3. The slope is 2 over 1 or negative 2 over negative 1. So in order to graph this, we start with a y-intercept, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. A slope of 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1, or negative 2, negative 1. But we're not going to draw the line just yet. We have to consider a couple of cases. So we're going to consider first the case of this point here. We're going to see if it meets the requirements for that. So this point is 4 comma 1. So starting with the equation, I'm sorry, the inequation, the inequality, y is greater than 2x minus 3, we're going to put in 4 for x and 1 for y. That will give us 1 is greater than 2 times 4 minus 3, which would mean 1 is greater than 8 minus 3 is 5. Well, that is false. So this point does not meet the requirements of that inequality. So we're going to try another point and plug it in to this inequality and see what happens. Let's try a point on the line. How about that point? That point is 3 comma 3. So in place of the y, I'm going to put 3 greater than 2 times. In place of the x, I'm going to put 3 minus 3. That would mean 3 is greater than 6 minus 3 or 3 is greater than 3. That's not true either. So that point doesn't meet the requirements of this inequality. So we're going to try a point above. How about there? That is 1 comma 3. So let's try that. Remember the inequality is y is greater than 2x minus 3. In place of the y, I'm going to put 3 is greater than 2 times in place of the x, I'm going to put 1 minus 3. Now solving this, that would be 3 is greater than 2 minus 3, or 3 is greater than negative 1. That's true. What can we get from these? Well, we know that this point, and by extension every point below the line, doesn't meet the requirements for the inequality. This point on the line, and by extension, every point on the line, doesn't meet the requirements for that inequality. But this point above, and by extension, every point above the line, does meet the requirements for that inequality. Well, how do we show that? Well, we show that the line is the boundary or the border between the points that do make meet the requirements and the points that don't by leaving it dotted. And we show that the points above the line are the ones that meet the requirement by shading the part of the graph above the line. Now, choosing points like we did here is all well and good. But there is a better method. It just involves a little bit of extra thought. First, points on the line are not going to work because that would have to be an equal sign. 
We know that because that's how we get a line. So if that's a greater than or a less than sign, the line will be dotted. How about above or below? Well, if we look on the y-axis, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The numbers on the y-axis are getting greater as we move up. It says in the problem, y is greater. So we shade where y is actually getting greater. Let's take a look at this related problem. What can we tell before we even begin the work? Well, we know that we're going to shade above the line like we did last time, but this is a greater than or equal to sign. In that sense, it is an equation, so the line will be solid. Let's take a look and do this. The y-intercept is negative 3. The slope is 2 over 1 or negative, one, negative 2 over 1. So that would be negative 1, 2, 3. The slope is up 2 over 1. Or negative 2, negative 1. Because y is equal to 2x minus 1 or greater than 2x minus 1, it's going to be a solid line. Let me rephrase that. Because of that equal to, it's a solid line. Now, do we shade above or below that line? Well, it says y is greater than. On which side of the line is y greater? Well, negative 3, negative, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. y is greater here. And it is down there, negative 4, 5, 6. So we shade above the line. One last problem. Still have a slope of 2, a y-intercept of th negative 3. Now that would be negative 3. Because of that, we know the line is solid, not dotted. Y is less. Y is less than. Well, it's on the lower side of the y-axis, going down that y is less. So the solution to this inequality is all the points below the line and the line itself.